do like and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update. In this video, I will show you how to use gradient command in AutoCAD. So let's get started. So in previous video, we have discussed about hatch command and today we will discuss about gradient command. Okay. So for gradient command, you can type gradient or you can also select gradient command from toolbar okay so here this is the gradient command on toolbar okay now you can also use hatch command for gradient so shortcut key of hatch command is h so h enter now this is gradient this is hatch dialog box now click on gradient now see this is gradient dialog box is open okay now this is hatch okay so we have already discussed that in hatch command you can select any hatch pattern as per your requirement and select the object you need to hatch by art pick point or select object method okay so just click inside of the object in add pick point method and select the boundary of object in select object method okay this is add pick point and this is select object okay also you can change the scale of hatch if required okay so this is the hatch command okay so same procedure can be applied for gradient command okay so for gradient command click on gradient now see this is the gradient dialog box is open okay now here this this is one color and this is two color okay now this is one color okay so draw rectangle first draw circle this is a circle and draw another rectangle here okay now i'll show you here now h enter now click on gradient now first i'll show you by one color okay uh, suppose two color okay so this is one color click on one color first so choose the color uh, this is index color this is true color and this is color books okay select means choose your color here you can choose this color click here click here click anywhere okay as for your requirement choose any color suppose um, i'll select this one okay now click okay and this is one color okay one color is selected now suppose the center click on center this is click on center see you can see see here the difference okay this is the angle now click on add pick point okay this is select object suppose first i'll show you add pick point click on add pick point now in this method we need to click inside of the object okay so click inside see this rectangle is selected now click on preview see this is the gradient will be like this okay now enter now click on ok okay see now again h enter click on gradient suppose i'll select this one click here then at pick point now click inside enter okay see you can see this now h enter gradient now i'll select this at pick point click inside the circle now okay see you can see this is the gradient okay now suppose i want to change this double click now i want to change the angle suppose suppose this is 45 degree preview you can see the change okay you can see this now uh, suppose double click i want to make this suppose 60 degree okay preview you can see the changes okay now enter okay so 
you can also change the angle like this double click and change the angle here suppose 30 degree preview you can see the change here this is the changes okay okay so like this you can change the angle now again H enter now gradient now click on centered cancel the centered make the angle 0 okay now click on at pick point click inside okay okay now select double click now click on center you can see the difference okay you can see the difference double click on it okay change this now see you can see the difference you can change this to any type okay just double click and select the different gradient now click on gradient again now i'll use two color so click on two color okay now here uh, i need to change the color this is color 2 suppose second color i'll change from color books uh, i'll change from select from index color okay i'll select this now you can see the color here this is color 1 this is color 2 so color 1 uh, suppose color 1 is green see you can see the difference color 1 and this is color 2 okay suppose uh, index color i'll change this to red one sorry pink one you can see green you can see now this is color one color two now at pick point now click inside of object now preview you can see the difference okay now click on ok okay now again gradient at uh, I'll change I'll select this at pick point now click inside enter now ok so hope you understand now double click now change the angle this is 45 degree ok now see you can see the difference now H enter gradient now select this one suppose at pick point click inside enter ok ok now this angle is 45 degree ok now select delete so hope you understand now again gradient now i'll to select object method so click on select object now in this method we need to select the boundary of object so click the boundary enter now preview now you can see this is gradient now okay so you can see gradient is done double click now you can change the angle here suppose 0 ok now you can see the difference ok double click gradient select up, uh, suppose change the this is one color ok change the color also from index color I'll select this color this is one color ok now select object now select the boundary of object enter now click on ok you can see the difference between one color and two color now gradient select uh, this one color select object now select the boundary of object enter ok so hope you understand you can change the angle also double click and change the angle ok all right so now H enter gradient now at pick point ok click inside click inside and click inside click at a time on three objects okay now preview you can see gradient is done with three objects now okay see this is a single gradient okay so now i want to separate this okay so just double click on this select the gradient okay i want to separate select the gradient double click now here separate hatches click on separate hatches okay now select now see this is separate gradient ok hope you understand same thing like hatch h enter gradient again two color ok select the second color uh, suppose uh, this one alright now 
at pick point now click inside click here click here and click here okay now click on okay now see this is single gradient okay multiple gradient okay now double click and separate hatches okay now these are separate separate gradient sorry these are separate gradient okay all right now h enter gradient now select boundary select all the boundaries at a time and enter okay now see in this case also this is single gradient okay so in this case double click and separate hatches okay now see all the gradients are different okay all the gradients are separated okay now in this method you can separate gradients now again gradient at pick point click inside click inside click inside enter now okay now this is a single gradient on three objects now double click you can change this to gradient to hatch also so click on hatch now select the hatch pattern now suppose um, you can select angle you can select any pattern you can select this i'll select box pattern suppose okay now click on okay okay now preview you can see this now here we need to change the scale uh, suppose make this 20 now preview see so i have changed gradient to hatch you can also change gradient to hatch or has to gradient also so separate hatch see all the hatches are separated okay so you can change the gradient to hatch now you can change the hatch to gradient select the gradient now click on ok see hatch is changed to gradient this hatch changes to gradient now i'll change this by match properties ok so match properties ma enter now select uh, select this gradient now click on this see this hatch changes to gradient by match properties also select this and change this this gradient change to hatch by match properties okay so hope you understand how to change this this is gradient so hope you like this video now if you like this video then don't forget to like and subscribe the channel thank you for watching